तव कथा तप्त जीवन कविभिरीडित कलमशापम श्रवणमंगल श्रीमदात भुवि गृणती ये भुरीदाजना भुवि गृणती ये भुरीदाजना gospel of ram krishna various aspect of human existence various aspects of struggle to transcend the nature and go beyond we are learning sitting at the feet of the shri ramakrishna dev the lord the compassionate lord who pervades the universe and gives existence to all that exist by his mere presence as vishwa chaitanya and out of compassion the souls who have appeared on this earth getting bound again and again and entering into the vicious circle of karmic load from which it is not able to enter disentangle and evolve for those souls shri ram krishna comes time and again in various aspects with under various names as incarnation of god this time for the welfare of the world for the welfare of the universe at the cosmic level for the welfare of individual jeevas he has come down in the form of shri ramakrishna and teaching us every bit of the spiritual life he is giving us all the secrets of sadhana of its functioning functioning of nature how to transcend the nature and go beyond to enter eternal freedom and unending bliss again so we saw the seven planes of existence and then he is giving me giving us the how how the what will be the state of a brahma gnani after one realizes god bhagavata sakshatkar after that what will be the state of man all duties and work falls off he is just like shri ram krishna tells a pregnant woman as her days towards the delivery comes closer and closer the mother in law uh, reduces her work little by little and then when she gets a baby after that she is relieved from all duties now she has to feed the child take care of the child and then be in joy with the child uh, all her duties are cut off when the she gets a child like that the brahmagnani after having attained his goal he is free from all duties and responsibilities now he has to spend the rest of the life being absorbed in the ocean of bliss peace love absolute the purpose of body is over he, he cannot work not that he doesn't work he can't his state of mind doesn't so even in 
stresses, depressions, dis mental diseases, a person cannot work. A ma mad person cannot work. Uh, many people cannot work. Old age cannot work. Dementia, he cannot work. Somebody has lost his memory, he cannot work. Many great people like surgeons, once they lose the mem memory, they are just vegetables. They cannot do any work. Like this, like that, the Brahma Jnana also is being absorbed in the Absolute, being absorbed in the ocean of Satchidananda, being absorbed in the ocean of existence, bliss, Absolute. Uh, he is not able to work. All his work. After attaining Samadhi, I once went to Ganges to perform Tarpan. In the last class we saw what is Tarpan, what is offered to means, the sesamum, till, and water is offered hmm, as a oblation for the means, Tarpan. Even for gods also, Tarpana is which gives tripti to the intended people, Tarpana, pleasing someone. Suppose I give something to someone which makes him pleased, Bhagavad Pritiyartham, I do the worship and then after worship I give the Tarpana. Oh, may, oh Lord, may you be pleased. Tarpayami, Tarpayami Swaha. Uh, in uh, Durga Puja, Kali Puja and all, at the end we give the Tarpana. We keep Akshata, the whole rice. Whole rice means paddy is removed uh, and while polishing and husking, some become broken. We leave the broken and take the whole grains of rice and is called Akshata. Kshata means broken, unbroken. It represents the absolute, uh, total giving. I give something, total giving. I keep my mind, total keeping of mind. This is called Akshata. So I keep the Akshata with Rakta Chandana uh, and then uh, Om Durga Devi Tarpayami Tarpayami Swaha. We pour the water and leave those akshatas in the offering plate. Kunda. So, this tarpana, may you be pleased, Mother. For if pleasing you had done this worship, now be pleased, be pleased. Similarly, what is given to men's tarpana? is to please them, to release them from strains here to make mother more happy and pleased with us. Mm. So he goes to give the tarpana. The, here tarpana refers specifically to the, not the puja of tarpana, to deities. It is for the mains, the uh, pitras. But as I took water in palm of my hand, it trickled down through my fingers. They have to take the water in hand and utter certain mantras, mystic syllables, and leave it. But he is holding, the moment he is holding, the water is falling off. He is not able to hold the water in hand. Hmm. But as I took the water in palm of my hand, it trickled down through many, through my fingers. Weeping, I said to Haldari, Cousin, what is this? Haldari replied, It is called Galita Hasta. Galita Hasta. The dilated hand. Because of love of God. Because of the purpose of life is over. The hands get dilated. 
its purpose is over. Just like old age, man's body becomes dilated. It doesn't have stiffness of the earlier. All becomes slowly. It droops down. This drooping down is called galita astha. It has drooped down. In holy books, after the vision of God, such duties as performance of the tarpan drop away. Hmm. So he is not able to do. In the kirtan, the devotee first sing, sings, "Nihai Amar Mata Hati," "Nihai Nitai Amar Mata Hati." Nita is the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his one companion. Huh? Nityananda. Nita and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Hmm. So, Nita Amar Matahati, he when dancing in ecstatic love of God, huh, it looks like a Mad elephant, Mata Hati. That singing is going on. How the Nitai was looking when he was dancing in ecstasy. The singer is singing, explaining the state of the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nitai. Hmm. How they were dancing. Hmm. Nita, when as the devotional mood deepens, he simply says, Hati Hati. Uh, his love for God, as he is explaining, his mind is getting absorbed in it. As his devotion is deepening, he is not able to utter also. He is jumping about and telling. And he is able to utter Hati Hati only, hmm, the last letter. Even children, not because of the ecstasies, but because of lack of memory, you ask the child to tell something. Ah, I am going to office. Ah, he will, if you tell him one word, I. Repeat, he will say, I, I am, he will repeat, I am, I am going, he will tell only going. <laughs> he doesn't, he, he has heard it, but I am going, he is not able to utter because he is not able to keep in memory the first two letters, for words. I am going to office, he will tell only office, office. <laughs> that is because of... Uh, Inability to keep the memory at memory development. Uh, so, here it is not because of that, here it is because of getting absorbed, he is unable to pay the attention to the song. He is in ecstatic love of God. Hati hmm. Hati. Then, at last, he simply sings, Ha ha. Hati also he is not able to, he is just, he was, with that ha ha ha, his story becomes, his body becomes still. He is totally got absorbed and goes into samadhi. Samadhi, he enters into samadhi. Samadhi, that is, he is nicely placed, samadhi. Sama, dhi, dha is to place hmm. something nicely placed. Where it should be, how it should be, it is placed, it will no more shake. That state, in God, it is rooted, fixed. It cannot shake now. The man who has been singing all the while, then becomes speechless, he is not able to speak anymore. 
Again at the feast given to the Brahmins, one at first hears much noise and talking. Uh, all will be sitting for food in dining hall. Then the serving begins. Then also people are talking to each other. Gada, bada, gada, bada. Lot of sound is going on. Hmm. Then as the serving, when the guests sit in floor with leaf plates in front of them, much of the noise ceases. Hmm. When they come and sit, dining hall all here, there the people are standing and talking loudly. Hmm. When they are asked to go and sit, uh, much of the noise comes down. When the people, servers, start serving the food, little more noise reduces. Hmm. Then one hears only cry, bring luchi, bring this and bring that. As they partake luchi and other dishes, three quarters of the noise subsides. All are busy in eating. When the curd, the last course appears, one hears only the sound, soup, soup. <laughs> they are mm, taking the soup, soup sound is heard, nobody is speaking. Mm. Guests eat curd with their fingers. Then there is practically no noise. Afterwards, they retire to sleep and absolute silence reigns. Therefore I say, at the beginning of religious life, a man makes much order about work, but his mind dives deeper into God, he becomes less active. When he dives in deeper into... Hmm. Last, the many people mistaking their own states, of existence, uh, they think, oh, work is not say, necessary for me. I can avoid work now. I am able to repeat the name of God. They feel. Uh, they reduce the work. Uh, but we see it, the wrong understanding is making them withdraw. They enter into laziness. They enter into tamas. The day we give up the work, we enter into tamas. Giving up is different. Falling off is different. It falls off by itself. Just like flower blooms when the gold appears and it starts growing, the flower drops off. The purpose of flower is over. There is husk on the grain, husk on the grain, a seed, there is husk. Once you put it in the earth, it will never germinate if husk is not there. Seed has to possess husk. You put it in the earth, it starts germinating. Germination is root. It touches the earth, it takes a curve to touch the earth again and it get rooted, the leaf part, the shoots stand up now. First what comes out is root, it is sprout, root and root touches the ground and the sprout, that is the shoots stand up, then the leaves come up. Uh, the moment it germinates, the skin that is the husk, purpose is over. It doesn't participate in any of the growth, it falls off. It is only purpose of that husk is to keep it in a state always ready for germination. It is just holding that seed for germination. The moment it germinates, it falls off. Its purpose is over. Maximum it can be become its own food of the plant as fertilizer. Otherwise nothing, it has finished its work. Like that is the hmm, 
Therefore, I say at the beginning of religious life, man makes much ado about work, but his mind dives deeper into God, deeper into God. He becomes less active. Hmm. He is moving about. First is work. Work he does with great interest in all that he is, does the work. And he will be doing spiritual practices also. When the spiritual practices become deeper, first he works with all diligence and interest. Later, as he becomes more serious about sadhana, uh, as he devotes more time to his sadhana and he is able to calmly sink within, he is able to spend more time undisturbed by the work he does. Work will not interfere in a sadhana. And that means he is getting rooted in the sadhana. Now, as he is getting rooted in sadhana, and sadhana is becoming deeper, there the activity, his mind on the activities become less. Then also he doesn't give up the activities. He continues the activities unmindful. Hmm. Unmindful of all things happening. He is not aware, but he is continuing. All the duties he is doing. Uh, many times, these, you can see many of the sadhus working in the world with great responsibilities. He is doing everything, but he is not there. His mind is somewhere. Like two lovers, uh, they want to satisfy all their relatives, friends, everything do their duties in a perfect way, more perfect way than they usually do. Hmm. Because their whole mind is captured by the lover. So he is getting absorbed in the love of other, but they don't leave the work. They are unmindful of the, in the awareness his lover is sitting or her lover is sitting. And work is going on as it is. He absent minded, they start doing. Still deeper when it goes and start losing the external awareness. Losing the external awareness. In dhyana, he is not aware of the external world. He is getting it. Then he finds it difficult. There also, uh, he will not reduce the work or feel like leaving it. God supplies, nature supplies someone to help that person in that. Hmm. Somebody says, I will help you, I will take the responsibility. Somebody comes and joins, somebody reduces the. Hmm. Then he gets more time, more freedom. Hmm. He devotes still more time. He goes deeper and deeper and he, another person comes or that person goes on to increasing his responsibilities and releasing him from the all uh, his external activities. Nature and God are angels. Uh, in no time the sadhaka gives up the work and activities because whatever is attained at higher level has to reach the bodily level. I have attained something in my life, in spiritual world. I am able to get absorbed in God now and then. I am able to lovingly sing, forgetting the body, forgetting the people around. Uh, that must come to the bodily level. While working, I must be unaware of the people. This is expansion of base for increasing the height of the building. Through work and activities, I bring my realization to bodily level. When bodily level it comes, I am firm. 
Now, while working, I experience the same state. It doesn't disturb me. Then my next step is open. My next door is open. I can go. Otherwise, I'll be there at the same level without going ahead. Because I have withdrawn from the work. I cannot climb up. The increase in height demands expansion of base. Expansion of base takes through activities. Hmm. He becomes less active. Last of all comes renunciation of work followed by Samadhi. Once he enters into Samadhi, all works and duties, all sadhanas end. Hmm. The Japamala, which he was using of realization, he keeps at the feet of God. Hmm. Uh, First, Guru gives the Japamala. I saw many sadhus silently keeping the Japamala in their pocket, rolling it all the time. They are attending to all duties and activities, hand is in pocket, and rolling the Japamala is going on. There was Bharat Maharaj in Belur Mart. Hmm? Abhayananda, no? Abhayanaji Maharaj. He was the manager of Belur Mart. When we were in training center, we had the opportunity to touch his feet many times on every special function day, direct disciples birthday and all that, we used to go and bow down. He was quite old, but duties and responsibilities he used to discharge in the ripe old age of 90s, he used to work. Till every department, various departments are there in Belur Mart. From every department, one person must come and inform. All have taken food in there, in his department. From Arugya Bhavan, from dispensary here, there. So many departments, from shrine, and everybody, whoever, whichever group is there, from training center, from uh, monks quarters. Every a person has to go and inform. Everybody has taken food in the monk quarters. Every servant has taken food. Somebody will come and tell. Watch and ward group. One person will come. We all, all have. Then, at 3.30, 4 o'clock, even if one devotee or one person is has not taken food, he will not take. After hearing all have taken food, he will take his food. At, in 90s, perhaps, uh, that was his routine that much of devotion to work. This we saw with our own eyes. Mm. And uh, uh, he was, what I wanted to tell is, uh, Japamala. He is to do the Japamala and his guru has given to him decades back that Japamala had become flat, man, the manis have become flat, doing, doing, doing all the time. And here, where it rolls, it had become a hard mass on which it rolls. This was the finger where it rolls, it was looking like a um, Rudraksha, and Rudraksha was looking flat like his finger. <laughs> how much of uh, japa they might have done, day and night. Night they will sleep with japa mala, wake up with japa mala, at all times they go on doing, calling on God. 
what a wonderful life, what a wonderful dedication, sacrifice. Mm. This is what we see. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastur